Hello YouTube. In today's video we're going to take a look at this Acer Aspire 5740 laptop right here, which is actually uh, a laptop that I made a video about eight years ago when this thing was still brand new from the packaging. This is that very laptop that I filmed back then when I was still learning how to actually use a camera. Now these days of course you can see it's very smooth and everything and it's mounted on a tripod and I'm, I've learned some things when it comes to uh, videography. It's still just a hobby, so anyway, but uh, yeah, this was that very same laptop that I filmed back then. So that's uh, very nice to have this thing back. This laptop belonged to my sister. She upgraded to a much newer notebook, uh, I think about two years ago now, and this thing has been collecting dust ever since. So this thing was used for about six years with its original installation of Windows 7, uh, home premium in this case. Original four gigs of RAM, uh, Intel Core i3, 330M, 2.16 GHz, dual core with hyper-threading, and a 320 gigabyte hard drive. The original drive is still in there, it is still uh, working perfectly, it's a pretty quick drive overall, and Windows 7 runs very well on this laptop. As you can see it has this bluish purplish color, I'm not sure how well this actually shows up on video, but uh, it is really, a, yeah, somewhere between blue and purple, it's a pretty nice color overall. It's better than a typical uh, piano finish, I'd say. So, let's take a tour around the laptop itself. On the right-hand side, we find two USB 2.0 ports, a DVD burner, a modem, which was actually standard on this laptop, which is interesting, and a Kensington lock. On the back we have the battery, which is a uh, four cell, and we have a vent over there. On the left hand side of the laptop we find the charging port, a gigabit ethernet port, very nice and a consumer grade laptop of that uh, time, a full size HDMI port, VGA, two more USB 2.0 ports, a line in jack, microphone and headphone jack. On the front, just an SD card reader. This is probably a grill for a speaker, if I had to guess. And uh, the latch. Of course the display is glossy, so that's very terrible. But uh, yeah. The keyboard is pretty worn. Some keys are. This thing was used for college and uh, for playing uh, some light games. It only has Intel HD graphics for the, from the very first generation of Intel HD graphics, so it's not really all that powerful, but, you know, for the time it was, uh, it was okay, I suppose. But the keyboard is uh, reasonably worn, the keys are still just fine, they type just fine, it's just a couple of them are a bit smoothed out. At least uh, Acer didn't actually etch the letters into the keys, but just put stickers on all, all of the keys. Some might say that's cheaping out. I personally think it is a better approach because the letters won't actually wear out of the keys. So you can still see them even though the keyboard is wearing down, but uh, the keys are still perfectly serviceable. We also have a numpad, which was pretty good for 2010. And some other Acer thingamajigs. Still has the original sticker here for the specifications for the 16x9 True Cinematic View LED display. Core i3 and Windows 7. It is still running Windows 7. I didn't any time upgrade to Windows 7 Professional because I would like to use this laptop as a basically with the lid shut as a uh, remote access to my network. I sometimes need access directly to a PC to do some better troubleshooting than I can do, uh, can do over my regular VPN. So I like having a machine to use as an intermediary to get on a network here. Of course, I will still use my VPN to actually connect to this thing, but uh, <clears throat> it is still very nice to just have such a machine so I can more easily troubleshoot my servers, for instance. I might do something else with it, not sure yet. I got it for free, so, you know, no complaints there. So right now it is booting up. So uh, we're waiting for that. There we go. Also has a webcam up here, I assume it is 480p. I don't think it has ever been used. 
track pad on this thing is reasonable. It is a bit worn and it has some residue that I need to clean off. Uh, it tracks reasonably well. There is no two finger scrolling on this. You have to scroll using this uh, little sidebar here. Uh, but that's okay. The buttons are still serviceable here. It's a single button with a left and a right click. Alright. The battery in this thing is original. And uh, it is somewhat uh, down on power, literally. And apparently I did some updating before this, so we'll have to wait for that. But yeah, it is just your typical 2010 15-inch notebook with a glossy LED display, 1366 by 768. It is a very bright panel, that's something that's very nice. Uh, is definitely one of the better panels that I've seen on Acer laptops of this era and of laptops in general. I really don't like glossy displays all that much but uh, this one is pretty good especially the brightness it's uh, really really quite good. For instance the uh, the Elite book that I showed in an earlier video uh, together with the Latitude 6320 uh, the display on that is less bright than this Yeah, it's just going to update, so I suppose there's not really much point in actually logging it in and doing some stuff on a laptop. I just really want to do a quick overview of it. If it's not really going to cooperate, then that's fine. But uh, yeah, there's really not, not a whole lot I can show on this laptop right now. Oh, well, there it is. It's just your typical uh, mid-range notebook, low-end to mid-range of uh, 2010. It works reasonably well on Windows 7. I might try a different operating system on this at some point. I might try Windows 10, but I really don't want to because I still think uh, Windows 10 is a train wreck. I'm really not going to go into detail on that in this video. So uh, that's basically it. This is the Acer Aspire 5740, the same laptop that I did an overview on eight years ago on this channel when I was still really learning how to do camera work. and. Uh, it's really nice to have this thing back in, and now actually in my possession, just, uh, you know, looking back at all those good times. I hope you enjoyed this video, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.